Okay, did you get all that? I didn't think so. What Numbnuts there is trying to tell you is that today we're going to do a triple summit. We're going to start down at Middle Mountain and then drive down to Mogollon Rim, pick up some contacts there. And then on the way back to the SOC, we're going to go to Timber Top. So let's get started. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. <sighs> it's a nice drive up here. Um, saw some uh, mule deer on the way up and some antelope. So I'll uh, insert those here. And uh, really pretty, a little uh, mule deer were not real big, little three of them right there. And then as I was looking at uh, the antelope, they were just kind of coming over this ridge and a couple of them stopped and then um, like two more appeared. So I just kept snapping away. So I got these, uh, I think there were four little guys up there. So that was a nice... Nice little surprise. It's always uh, one of the things I enjoy about the trip over here. So the uh, hike up to Middle Mountain is uh, pretty simple today, which would be welcome given uh, yesterday's escapades. So uh, we're going to knock this out and then head on down to Mugion. So Middle Mountain, here we come. All right, got my sunscreen on early this time I uh, waited a little bit too long yesterday but um, yeah we'll go right up this fence line here and uh, head up to that summit I don't even think it's a mile so it's a pretty walk up here Good. Right up there, that's where I came from. Oh, beautiful views from up here. We're only at about, I don't know, 8,600. We'll get up to 9,000. But uh, very quiet and calm up here. Okay, we are in the activation zone, uh, 20 feet from the actual highest point. So um, we're looking at another little peak. You go through just a little dip there and get over to that one. That may also be within the activation zone. Um, first year I came up a different way and bushwhacked and it was quite difficult because I didn't, my recon did not show this uh, this way of getting up here then I found out I was on the wrong one <laughs> but anyone is still fun um, so I'm well within the activation zone I'm gonna look for some shade and then um, fire up get crack and someone go up toward the some a little bit more where all those trees are just a little bit of breeze that's where I came from Looks like uh, Rex, oh, K6MT just went online there. 
So we'll see if we can catch him. Send my summit to summit. Ah, he's not hearing me. Damn it. That's him. working somebody else right now. Giving me his location. ourselves to summit to summit first off. Gotta love it. <sighs> you gotta love this operating position man. It is so beautiful up here. Um, let's go ahead and spot. Fuck it.
Here comes the pile up. That was a fun pile up because it wasn't too uh, frustrating. Um, had a good time. So, thanks Rex for being my first contact. And uh, you'll be able to see a little picture in picture on that one. That should be fun. Um, so, CW didn't suck as bad. Just practice evidently helps. But, uh, yeah, this is always a good summit. It's a really big activation zone. So, uh, Adam, if you're listening, uh, you and me next year, dude, gonna have to do this one. Uh, you can operate out of the Soda Operations Center and I can get a complete on all these darn summits I've done up here. So, uh, that'll be fun. Anyway, we're heading back down to the vehicle. We, meaning me, and the camera. Um, so, it's a pretty simple hike. You follow the fence. Um, then we'll jet over to Mugion. There is no cell service there. Um, I can get into repeaters to get help to get spotted and stuff. I have satellite for spotting, but, um, now that I'm using CW, um, if I send a CQ with my call sign, it'll automatically post me on the SOTA website. So that's a real, uh, one of the big benefits of using CW and the fact that you can, you know, work Belgium with 10 watts. That was crazy. Nothing big this morning, but um, today we just a shoot, loot, scoot. We're going to see if we can get a triple today. So, off we go. All right, let's see if we can get out of our parking space here. No problema. Let's see if we can miss these big rocks here. Alrighty then. I don't think I 
I've ever seen a sign like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, we're at the more or less starting place for Muggione. Um, Muggione Rim, actually, I believe is what it's called. It's because it uh, sits right on the rim here. So this is as far south as we'll head. Um, Summit's not too far from here. I can probably go up a little bit farther, but uh, no sense in uh, <laughs> tearing out a muffler or something. Anyway, um, beautiful, beautiful darn day. The place is just surrounded by Aspen. The fire started not too far from here, the 2004 fire. Um, and so everything south of that is pristine because the winds were out of the south. And it was blowing like a banshee. So, very unfortunate. But, uh, all right, we're going to head up the hill here. On the uh, drive up came across a pretty good sized turkey, wild turkey. So, so far today, we've seen this guy pictured here. And uh, four antelope, three deer. So, midday, not sure if we'll run into anything up here. As long as it's not a bear or snake or something. Um, it's nice to be out of so Cal will not have to deal with snakes.
CQ, 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 this is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie calling CQ, 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 <coughs> November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie for Summit on the Air, any station, anywhere. QSL, QSL, I got a Whiskey Alpha 6 uh, Kilo Yankee Romeo, uh, got you here at about a 5.5, five, 5.5, five, 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 over. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the contact and have an awesome day, dude. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Whiskey Echo 6 Alpha. Whiskey Echo 6 Alpha. Whiskey Echo 6 Alpha. Uh, QSL? Whiskey 6, uh, Ted, how's it going, man? Hey, Chris, how's it going? I got a really high noise floor here, but I can get you. Yeah, roger, roger. I think it's it's high noise floor everywhere except on the mountain. Over. No, I'm not on that. What did you say? One more time. Yeah, it's, it's a high noise floor everywhere. High noise floor everywhere on 40, but I got you, man. Thanks for the contact. Roger, Roger, I got you 5757, five, over. 57, I got that. You have a lot of fun out there, Chris. Looks like you're really rounding up Arizona. Yeah, Roger, Roger, one more peak to go, so stay tuned, over. All right, you got it. You have a great one, Chris, 73. Alrighty, 73. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Any station, anywhere. November 6, Whiskey Tango. November 6, Whiskey Tango. Good afternoon. QSL, QSL, I got you about a 520, 520, over. Oh, roger, roger, thank you much for the 520. Uh, 73, have a good activation, November 6, Whiskey Tango. Alrighty, man, 73, N1 CLC, Summit's on the air. Uh, Kilo Charlie 6, uh, go again. I got the Kilo Charlie 6 Alpha, I didn't get the last part. Okay, I got a Kilo Charlie 6, uh, Alpha Romeo Yankee, QSL. QSL, QSL. November 1, Whiskey 7 Echo. November Whiskey 7 Echo, uh, got you about a 5.7 five, seven here, 5.7. Five, seven. Okay, you're 5 and 3, 53. Roger, Roger, thanks for the 53, man. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I got a Kilo Golf 7 Hotel Zulu Zulu uh, QSL. QSL, 7273, All righty, man. I got you 5959. Uh, nine. Thanks for the contact. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. Kilo 6, Lima Delta, Quebec. Kilo 6, Lima Delta, Quebec. I've got you about a 58. All right, I'm a sandwich here. Beautiful day, sitting in the shade. Gosh, the weather's fantastic. Much better than what's snowing. And to top it off, I didn't have any lettuce put in my sandwich. My neighbor just called me and said she's going to the store and asked if I need anything. I said, dude, can you bring me some lettuce? She's like, oh yeah, I'll bring you a box. So I'm sitting up here on a mountain working stations all over the country including Spain that was pretty awesome thanks Josh appreciate that and uh, I'm gonna have my sandwich here and then head over to Timbertop 
See if I can't send some more cool waves into the atmosphere. So, 73. <laughs> That was a nice break. So I'm up there in the mountain. Actually kind of green up here and stuff. Uh, my camera's getting a little bit wonky. Anyway, pretty day up here. So I head back to the vehicle. I tried to leave this fleece at the uh, operating position. But as you know, Ohana, no gear left behind. There the vehicle is. That little stand of fairly new aspen. Growing like crazy. So we'll load up, head over to Timber Top. Then we'll go home for a well-deserved glass of vino, cheese, crackers, little little sundowner look how thick these aspen are you can't even hike through that stuff it's just amazing and it's all one organ organism We're at the start of Timber Top Trail, Bushwhack. Actually, there is no trail up there. But uh, I generally swing around to the east a little bit and uh, stay out of that uh, real heavy thicket of, of aspen. I parked the car under some, some really nice trees. Uh, the road ends right here yet because there's a, a blockage, so you'd have to go around me anyway. Um, I, you'd want four-wheel drive before you go through this. Looks pretty, pretty muddy. We're right next to a little tank over here, so pretty little setting. Would have been a good place to have my sandwich over here. I don't know. I just get it's hard to hard to know where to have your sandwich. <laughs> so anyway, let's get cracking. I don't know if you can see it. There's the line of. Aspen. Oh, I'm so glad I swung out to this side because it's just so much better than having to go through those guys and hate to do any damage as I go through. So this turns out to be a good move. Staying far east and then attacking it from this side. Oh, wow, what a clear day. Just unbelievable. Getting kind of toasty, but light breeze really toasty 70 something <sighs> give me a break dude get back to work now we're in it that's right I found some trails animal trails and kind of weave in and out of these guys so yeah that works we're in the activation zone. I don't know why I'm saying we. Just because I'm an idiot. I'm in the activation zone. I'm at 9,300 feet. The zone is at 9,340. 40 feet above us. Right over yonder. We're gonna head up there, uh, find a good place, make sure the antenna is set up properly so I can get to Gary and Martha. I don't want to disappoint anybody and my slack buddies especially Josh I know he wants this one he's probably got five has it five times but yeah, net him another ten points of activator or chaser chaser points so that's yeah, gonna net me another ten points in activator so 
let's get her done. Number three. All right, I brought my chair. Turns out I measured properly this time. So I'm trying to set my gear up so it's in the shade. No reason to get that thing hotter than a pistol. And uh, I'm gonna start out on 40 today. Let me, just, let me do 40 CW to start with. Okay, I just uh, made a contact with Charlie down in Phoenix. Uh, we were using 60 meter. Uh, so this antenna that I have just you know, it's it's such a great multi-band antenna. Um, got into uh, New Zealand, John down there, uh, ZL1 um, BYZ, and uh, that was very cool. Um, also, just talked to Charlie um, via the VHF repeater link. Uh, it's a linked repeater system. It uh, goes from Greens Peak all the way down into Phoenix Mesa area. And uh, to get into the repeater, I. Um, I put on this uh, MFJ 1714, not positive I needed it. I wasn't getting into it with a rubber whip, but if you look at this thing, it's a, basically a full wave or a full half wave uh, two meter antenna. So it, uh, it adds a lot. And uh, the nice thing is there's a bunch of repeaters up there. Of course, there's, there's some just local here I can use, but that rim link, if I want to get down into Phoenix, if I want to get all the way down into Tucson, I'll switch repeaters. Um, there's an ears repeater in on Greens Peak. There's ears repeater 10 miles from me um, at the most. So um, it's kind of a nice thing to know if you need uh, support, whether you're doing soda or anything else. A uh, great little repeater system up here. Uh, the ears goes in through New Mexico and then down into uh, southern Arizona, Safford, I believe, and then across into Tucson. So it uh, can be pretty handy. That wraps up the uh, the White Mountain Triple. I'm going to head back to the uh, SOC and um, clean up, get the crackers out and cheese, and uh, prep myself for the uh, the famous Claiborne Sundowner. Let's head down the hill. I love that sound. Well, thanks, chasers. I appreciate it. Hope you had fun because I did. So, one for you. It would have been a little bit hard to get my four contacts, but you guys just killed it. And uh, Josh is always out there scanning the airwaves. Little uh, traffic control, that's always awesome. So with that, we'll finish up the White Mountain Triple.